Hi, in this video we're going to see how easy it is to use the built-in snapshotting capabilities that exist within your Winchester Systems Flash NAS ZFS array. And using these snapshots it gives you the ability to provide you with uh, data protection and business continuity items, uh, you know, in case of uh, loss of data, inadvertent errors in terms of writing files or uh, deleting files and things like that. So let's first go to a mounted file. Uh, we've got under here in Explorer. So you'll see that I've got a bunch of drives mapped over. And I'm going to pick this one here, Pool 1 uh, CIFS 2. Uh, it is a uh, CIFS file folder system that I've you know, kind of mounted over with a shared disk label Y. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to uh, create a new file. So I've created a file, and let's just put some content in here. And I'm just going to do a couple of lines here, and we'll insert, let's put a date in it, and we'll also put a timestamp. And we'll put a couple of uh, lines. And we'll save that. So you can see we've got the file here. And now what I'm going to do is go over to the Flash NAS ZFS array and I'm going to take a snapshot. And I'm going to do it manually even though you could set up a automated scheduled method of doing snapshots. But for this demonstration I'm just going to take a couple of manual snapshots just to see how easy it is and also to see the uh, capability. So I'm here at the uh, Flash NAS array. And I'm going to select backup and then go and take a snapshot. And you'll see I have at this point no uh, snapshots taken, so I'm just going to do an add. I'm going to do a selected volume folder. And I'm just going to select the folder that I actually did the uh, new file creation to. So I'm going to take a snapshot, do a backup once immediately. So you see the snapshot has been created. And if I go look, I do have a snapshot. And you notice it says the uh, data was taken. And here you see where it says next of none. So there's no repetitiveness here. It's not scheduled. It's just a one-time backup. Now let's go back to our uh, Windows system. And what we'll do is we'll go and we'll edit the file again, make some changes to it. And then we'll see that we've got copies uh, available. And this is showing you how nicely it ties into the volume shadow services feature of Windows itself. So this is that same file that I was uh, editing previously. And now we're going to change it. Let's uh, change it to file version 2. Uh, let's remove the timestamp. And let's add a few more lines. So we'll add lines 4 and uh, line 5. And let's save that. So now if we right click on the uh, file, you'll see that there is an option here that says Restore Previous Versions. So if I click on that, notice that there's an option here which says uh, under File Versions Today and Rich Text Document. And notice the uh, timestamp, 3.28 PM, whereas up here, it's 3.30 PM. And what's really interesting is we can you know, go open and uh, preview it. And we'll see, notice that it's the previous version of the file. So we can actually restore it. We can copy it. We can do a lot of capabilities here with this uh, snapshot version. And what else is nice is uh, we can take multiple snapshots. So let me cancel out of this. And we'll go back to the uh, 
GUI for the array itself and we'll take another snapshot and you'll see that then we can have multiple versions and you can flip between the different versions that exist in the array itself depending on how many snapshots you've taken. So I'm just going to go back and do the same exercise again, selecting the same pool and then the same folder and again doing another one-time immediate backup, you know, take an immediate snapshot. So if we go and we look here now, notice that we've got two snapshots. So let's go back to our Windows Server. And now let's edit the file again. So let's change it to version 3.1. We'll remove the date stamp. We'll add a, a new paragraph. And we save it away. So again, if I uh, right click on it with my mouse, previous versions, and now notice that we've got two previous versions that exist. The first version of the document that we saw previously is taken at 3.28 p.m. And notice now we've got a new version which exists that was taken at 3.30. And you'll see this is version two. So again, I can go back and forth. I can uh, basically pick which version I want depending on when the snapshot was taken. The other thing that we can do, and this is a really powerful capability also, is let's say I inadvertently uh, delete this file. So notice now the file has been deleted. But if I go back to my uh, web interface on my Flash NAS ZFS array, And again, I have the two snapshots. So let's say that I wanted to uh, restore the file back from the latest version. So I can do a preview to see exactly what data exists. And notice that the rich text file document, RTF file, exists here. I can either download it and save it that way, or I can roll back just the specific file as opposed to even the entire folder. So it says the rollback has been completed. Let's go back and look now on our Windows server. And notice the file has been restored. And we can open it up. And based on which snapshot I took, so I've restored it back to the version 2 file. And I, I could have selected either of the versions I wanted to restore back to. So again, this is a very powerful capability. So I hope you found this interesting and uh, you know gives you a overview of how to integrate using snapshots into your uh, data recovery practices. Thank you.